Alright. As promised. Here's some more information about the brain. The parts of the brain can be divided in terms of structure and function. Four principal sections of the brain are the brain stem, the diencephalon, the cerebrum, and the cerebellum. The brain stem is the stalk of the brain and is a continuation of the spinal cord. It consists of the medulla oblongata, pons, and midbrain. The medulla oblongata is actually a portion of the spinal cord that extends into the brain. All messages that are transmitted between the brain and spinal cord pass through the medulla. Nerves on the right side of the medulla cross to the left side of the brain, and those on the left cross to the right. The result of this arrangement is that each side of the brain controls the opposite side of the body. Three vital centers in the medulla control heartbeat, rate of breathing, and diameter of blood vessels. Centers that help coordinate swallowing, vomiting, hiccuping, coughing, sneezing, or other basic functions of life are also located in the medulla. Now, a region within the medulla helps to maintain the conscious state. The pons, from the Latin word meaning bridge, conducts messages between the spinal cord and the rest of the brain, and between the different parts of the brain. The midbrain conveys impulses from the hypothalamus to the pons and spinal cord. It also contains visual and audio reflex centers involving the movement of the eyeballs and the head. Yeah. Twelve pair of cranial nerves originate in the underside of the brain, mostly from the brainstem. They leave the skull through openings and enter as peripheral nerves to their destinations. Cranial nerves bring information to the brain from regions in the faces, head, and neck. For example, the olfactory nerve transmits messages about smell from the nose. And the optic nerve transmits visual information from the eyes. The only acceptor is the vagus nerve. Vagus comes from the Latin word wandering. It is the lone cranial nerve that serves other areas of the body. The vagus nerve branches extens extensively to the larynx, heart, lungs, stomach, and intestines. Among other functions, it helps promote digestive activity and regulate heart activity. So there you have it. A little more information about the brainstem, diencephalon, cerebrum, cerebellum. Also included in there was the medulla oblongata, pons, vagus nerve, cranial nerves. I know you heard a lot of different words in there related to this neurological study. You will see the definition of them. Just stay tuned. You know I got it coming for you. Alright. Stay well. Stay whole. Love eternal. You docked here. With the D. Let's go.